Hey guys, it is Monday the 21st, 20th? I don't know, my date thing's not coming up. But anyway, it's Monday, um, less than a week away till Christmas, yeah, woohoo, can't wait for that, I mean, I'm, seriously, I'm pumped. Um, but anyway, uh, Jagex, as foretold by the almighty Jagex, uh, the event came out today for, um, Christmas. The Christmas event. Blah, I don't even know what it's called. Nor do, nor do I really care. I, honestly, I'm going to give you my take on it. So if you haven't done the Christmas event, you don't want it ruined for you of what's uh, going to happen, um, go to the event and come back and watch. Um, I'm going to give my opinion on it, and my overall opinion is probably going to anger some people. <laughs> so, well, it's going to anger some Jagex lovers, anyway. Um, yeah, I did the event. Basically, it's around a guy, Santa Claus, who's disguising himself as a Fremican, um, because he lost his hat and lost a whole bunch of items in a Demon Hem Dungeon. How original. Um, yeah, so he basically wants you to go into this dungeon and retrieve his items for him and do it's uh, there's five puzzles in the dungeon on each puzzle you get an item or whatever and then um, at the end you go back and give him his shit um, the first one uh, you have to first first the first thing you do is grab the um, snowman item stuff that's over the, it's covered by a shield and there's like a little snow thing so just grab that and it'll go directly into your bag you don't have to worry about it and uh, after that you have to go and do a memory game Thing, icicles to get into the next room because the other room is frozen solid with icicle stuff. But anyway, in the middle of the room there is a totem which you have to tap. After you tap that it goes uh, into an aerial kind of view, half aerial kind of thing. Um, and it has like a Simon. It's like Simon. It's exactly like si it's Simon. Like there's no other way to say that. It is Simon. Uh, the game from that back in the 80s with all the colors and you have to tap the box or whatever and like repeat the pattern. Yeah, the icicles light up all at once. And then they do the Simon thing where, you know, one of them flashes, another one flashes, or they double flash. And you have to go after it's done that and tap the right ones in the right order, and part of the door melts. Now, what's frustrating about this is that the icicles aren't in a circle or, you know, you know clumped together-ish uh, near the totem. They're fairly spread out across the room, and if you get one sequence right the first time or whatever, it doesn't take you back to the totem and um, show you so it's easier to see. You stay there, and as soon as you get out of the aerial view, you go back to where you were, so you're confused of where to go next, um, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Um... Honestly, it's just a copy. It's quite un uninventive. It's somewhat frustrating. If you have uh, the split private chat where it's in the screen itself, I recommend you turn that off, especially if it's a bright color like yellow. I have mine yellow or uh, pink or purple or something like that. But the amount of people that are in the room walking in front of and shit all the time. Uh, you don't need that extra thing in your way. It's just really annoying. Um, but you do need to take that off, otherwise you won't, might not see the one at the bottom. Um, and there's like two side by side, so it's kind of difficult to sometimes to uh, derive the two. Uh, sometimes. Uh, depends. If there's a lot of people around them, then it can be. But anyway, uh, overall, it's, it's somewhat frustrating, but it's just more unimaginative than anything. It's just Simon. Um, they could have thought of something better, I think. But, you know, whatever. Uh, after you melt that away and go to the next next room, um, it's basically red light, green light. Uh, you're crawling around very slowly, I might add, uh, behind um, snowbanks so you can't be seen by a statue. And if you're seen by the statue, you get teleported back to the beginning. Now, what's really frustrating about this, you think it wouldn't be, is that there isn't a pattern. Or if there is, it's a really stupid one to try and understand. And considering it's a holiday event, who the fuck wants to find out a pattern, right? I mean, all you're getting is some, you know, ooh, festive cheer. Yeah, bullshit, it's not very festive. Um, not very cheery either. But... Yeah, you're um, trying to tap the statue, and with that no pattern thing, um, you start at the beginning, right, and you go behind th uh, the next one in front, uh, the next thing, so you can't be seen, right? But the problem is that if you get seen by the next one or whatever, um, you get teleported back to the beginning of the room, right, and you try to go to the next one, uh, again, thinking the pattern's the same, but no, halfway there, she turns around, or it turns around quickly, and you get seen and teleported back. Now, that happen That will happen to you multiple times, I guarantee you. Um, I've never seen anybody do it first try, go through. If you have, uh, good on you, you're either a nerd or a god, I don't really care what you uh, try to perceive yourself as, but yeah. 
it's quite frustrating. It gets you frustrated. It, it, this is just the start of the frustration, right? Because, I mean, yeah, it's just, it, it gets frustrating. But with the no pattern in that, it's really stupid. Um, there is somewhat of a pattern where it seems to be too long ones, then too short. So you have to try and, you know, remember and time that. But it's really difficult to do that So because if you get teleported back to the beginning or whatever, you lose track because it keeps going. The game keeps going. It doesn't pause for you. Um, it, it's the same for everybody. Uh, but if you uh, are caught by the... Uh, red thing, just don't move. If you move, you'll get teleported. I'm pretty sure that if you don't move and you're seen, you will not get teleported back. Um, so just, you know, keep in mind, keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, after you touch the statue, you get teleported to the next room. Now, now, now at this point, you're, you're kind of frustrated because, I mean, you've been caught a few times and it's really pissing you off that there's no pattern, or it seems like there isn't. And you get to something uh, called a seal slide. Um, basically, you pick up a trinket at the beginning of the room, you put it in your bag, and you right-click on the bag and use the trinket. You turn it into a seal. Okay, kind of cool. The animation on the seal is quite good. The graphics on it are quite good. Um, so, you know, props to you, Jagex, for that. But um, you go onto the seal slide, kind of like Mario 64 on the ice level, where you slide down the um, uh, ice, ice slide thing to get the star. Um, if anybody's played Mario, excuse me, Mario 64, I don't know how old I am, but, um, no, it's, you, you do that, and you slide, and you have to, uh, collect three arrows that come up at your screen, in the middle of your screen, uh, to turn so you don't hit these, uh, water poles. Now, that sounds pretty simple, and actually kind of fun, actually, but the thing is, there's a, about a four second, three, four second delay when you click on the arrow things, there's about a four second delay. The problem lies there because you'll think oh I can turn instantly and you click 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 and five seconds and, and you hit the pole and you're done so you're just like sitting there like okay what the fuck um, and it's really quite frustrating for that too because I mean the pools are usually quite close together so you don't really have the time you basically have to click click really quickly otherwise you're fucked um, but the thing is with that too is the pools are wide enough so if you click click it'll turn turn and you'll go into a pool and die so basically you have to click wait about a second and then click again to try and get it just and it gets quite frustrating especially with some of the pools at the end being quite close together um i you will fall in the pool at least once i guarantee you that unless you again are a hardcore expert or you know i've looked up some sort of guide and got lucky but it just mounts your more frustration now, the fourth one, at, well, after you get through that, you go to the fourth one. The fourth one is where your frustration is, like, popping. And it's a door maze, okay? Simple concept, simple idea. The thing is, there's no pattern at all. The doors are completely random. You go in a door, you'll end up somewhere. You go back to the beginning, you go in that same other door thinking you're going to go to that same place you went to uh, before you messed up. Ha! No. It teleports you somewhere else, possibly. Okay? Sometimes it will teleport you to the same spot, but that's not all the time. I've tried it three or four times, and only... and I, th I think five times. And only once did it teleport me to the same spot. Um, what makes it even more frustrating is... It's divided into six. Uh, I think five or six, something like that. And you have to go through one set of doors, and another set of doors, and another set of doors, then the end. And in between those uh, sections, there's two items you have to get. Skates, and this, like, snow kit thing. I don't really care what it is, nor do I really want to know, but, um, so yeah, you have to be thinking about that too, so if you forget one of those, and you get to the end, or forget both of those, and go to the end, you're going to be really pissed off, um, because if you forgot those, because you expect it to be at the beginning of the stage, or at the end of the stage, I mean, that's usually how it goes, but in the middle of the stage like that, especially with something like that, where there's no clear-cut pattern, and you'd think they'd put something either on the door, or beside the door, or something like that, to try and, you know, have a pattern, right, like a floor pattern or something, and try to figure it out. Um, that's not the case. It's just completely fucking random. It's a real piss off. So, yeah, if you forget the items, thankfully, though, you can backtrace so you can go and get the items. But the thing is, I think if you go forward again, um, they're fucked up again, so you still have to go through it. Which basically just makes you pop and be like, oh my god, this is fucking stupid. And it is. Um, a random door is stupid. Um, it's original shore, I, I guess. Um, it's Shagax, I don't expect much. But. Overall, it's just mediocre and, and really monotonous, really stupid. But anyway, and the last one is crab fishing. You get a bucket at the beginning. This is where the bucket comes in. Basically, there's a square thing, like the ferret thing in the Damon Ham, if you've ever done the ferret uh, thing, where you have to guide the ferret. But you go into the middle of the outside edge or whatever and wait for a crab to come up in one of the multiple pools um, in the 
inside of the ice square. Now what you do is you click on the one with the Santa hat and you go and fish it. That's all you do. Just click it really quickly on the one with the Santa hat and it go. your character just does it automatically. Runs, fishes, leaves. And you just do that until the little bar at the top goes down to nothing. You get the crab in your bucket. Your character says something really stupid and expected. And you go back to the Demon Hem thing. You talk to Santa Claus. He gives you the crab itself, which you can wear on your head. The crab has a Santa hat on it. You can wear that on your head. Durr, it looks stupid as shit. You get an emote, which is the, just basically the clap when you... It, the same thing as, like, regular clap, ex except you turn into a seal. Whatever, unimaginative. Um, and you get this cool snowman thing, which is kind of kind of neat, uh, where you do it and you, you turn into a snowman, you dance around for like a second, and then you explode into multiple snowballs, which is kind of cool. Um, but I mean, that's basically it. It's 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 it gets a two out of ten from me. I I hate it. It's boring. It's frustrating. It's really a piss off more than anything. It's not very festive. It's just them trying to you know get into that Damon Hep shit still, and more and more and more. But whatever. That's my take on it. Um, also, as far as the... Uh, just a little update here. I'm not going to do the any other news thing, because this is some Damon M thing where you find some, where there's snowballs or whatever in the room. It's just stupid. Um, actually, actually, that one might actually be kind of cool. I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, because this video is getting really long. Um, the contest competition. Uh, it's not a one-month card now. It's a three-month card, if you notice the title change. Um, because... Well, actually, I explained it on a vlog in Failgex Live, so if you want to know why, uh, go watch Failgex Live vlog, and it'll explain. Um, also, uh, still the second place thing with Way Too Hot for RS. Thank you for the card. Go subscribe to Way Too Hot for RS, and thank him for donating um, that other card for a second place winner. Um, that's basically all the news today. That's Well, it is all the news today, and uh, that's it. Go subscribe to Failgex Live to see that vlog. Subscribe to Way Too Hot for RS for thanking, to thank him for the donation. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later.